In this video, I'm going to show you how to test microwave leakage without turning on the microwave. So, one of my family members is in the market of looking for a new countertop microwave. Um, there are a lot of reviews out there on various websites. And that's all and great because that's the beauty of the internet that you can look at other people's reviews and then pick out the best microwave for you. However, there's a unique requirement for my family member that they want to find a microwave with the least amount of uh, microwave leakage. And unfortunately, not a lot of reviews go over that. The reason why my family member is so concerned about the micro microwave radiation is because if the power rating is too high, it can cause uh, damage to your tissue, to your body tissues, hence causing a lot of different, um, maybe pain or uh, maybe even cancer, of course. Um, but again, uh, I'm not a doctor and this is just my own family member's concern. But re disregard that concern, uh, the US uh, FDA have their own guidelines and if you look at their website the uh, performance standards for microwave and radio frequency emitting uh, products and the guide says that the uh, requirement is 5 milliwatts per square centimeter at any such point. Having that said, let's look at a meter that can detect 5 milliwatts per centimeter square. So let's say if you have a microwave already and you want to detect its microwave le uh, leakage. Uh, what you can do is you can buy a very uh, handy uh, microwave leach detector. Um, they vary in price. This one I have right here is pretty cheap. cost me less than 20 bucks. Um, and it can measure the frequency of the microwave leakage. Okay, so here's an example on how you would do it. First, uh, you would take a cup of water um, I don't know why you need a cup of water. I think maybe it's to protect the microwave so you have some load in there so that the, uh, the power can be consumed so it doesn't damage the microwave. So I have a cup of water in there. Now let's uh, turn on the uh, microwave leakage detector. After it's on, you want to zero it out. So I'm going to hold on this for five seconds. All right, I zeroed it out. Let's just set for one minute. And I'm starting to record the, and I just point, position this in front of it. So you can see that uh, it's actually, the warning sign is going up. Maybe turn on max to show what it's reading. So it's reading over nine, I mean, over 10 milliwatt if it's over five milliwatt per centimeter square, that's way too much. And when this beeps, that means that's going way over. So let's uh, turn on the max and measure it for a little bit. So it's already seven five point seven nine at a close uh, distance of uh, three inches. But if you move it further away, let's do it one more time further away. So let's say if you're about a foot away, I'm going to turn on the max button, and it maxed out at 4.2. So I would say that this leakage is actually pretty bad. I mean, at a foot away, you still have 4.3. Another thing that you want to measure is the, uh, the different edges around it. So let's turn on max and measure it. So at the top corner, you can see that it is it is 8.53 uh, milliwatts per centimeter squared. So I would consider this unit high leakage, by the way. Now having that said, that's great if I can test out the microwave before I buy it, but what can I do to test a microwave before I buy it? Now I came up with an idea, and uh, it's not perfect, but it gives you a good basis on how to know what you're purchasing ahead of time. So the whole idea is basically this. 
since your microwave uses 2.45 gigahertz frequency and your Wi-Fi uses 2.4 gigahertz, they're very similar in frequency, very close, close enough that the Faraday cage inside the microwave should shield out the Wi-Fi signal. So let's say I'm in a department store and I want to find the microwave with the lowest leakage. So what I do is I took two cell phones, one cell phone I installed an app that basically detects Wi-Fi signals to show the strength of the Wi-Fi signal and and so the app I use is Wi-Fi Analyzer. On the other cell phone I want it to broadcast the Wi-Fi so I basically installed a Wi-Fi hotspots app on that cell phone. So I turn on that cell phone to Wi-Fi hotspots. I put that cell phone in a uh, in the microwave in the department store, which again it's not powered on. And I use the Wi-Fi analyzer, the cell phone outside of it, to detect to see if I'm getting a strong or weak signal from the cell phone inside the microwave. And the goal is to find the microwave that can shield off the most uh, Wi-Fi signal, which then corresponds to the microwave with the lowest leakage. So right here, I have two cell phones. This one right here is going to be the uh, uh, the Wi-Fi router. Um, so the app I download is uh, Portable Wi-Fi Post. Um, and after I click on that button, now this is running as a Wi-Fi host. And in settings, as you can see, I set it to microwave demo. So this right here, I am going to run this app called Wi-Fi Analyzer. Um, and you can select uh, which one you want to monitor. So I have right here microwave demo selected. It's monitoring it. Now it's at negative 40 dB max signal. So what you do is you just take the cell phone, you put it right there, you don't turn on the microwave, but all you do is you just close the door and then you want to see how this Faraday cage uh, reacts to the signal. So I put the cell phone in there and I what I do is I usually just center it in the middle then I go around the corner I let it sit for a little while I would say after a while it bounce around it's about negative 73 okay and I'll measure the corners and I'll do the same thing measure a corner over here and over right down here and so forth so finally I compared all of the different uh, microwaves at these department stores and I I compared um, I took their average decibels from the center and all the corners and basically I found uh, some brand new microwaves they actually had pretty bad uh, leakage they would be around negative 50 to negative 40 dB totally in the green signal, strong signal. A lot of them were around negative 70 and negative 60 dB. And again, these are microwaves with great reviews on, uh, online. The microwave I picked at the end uh, was a LG microwave and it had almost negative 82 decibels. So bought it, brought, brought it back home, and then we used the microwave leak detector and it measured 0 0.9 milliwatts per centimeter squared so uh, we're pretty happy with the purchase and um, hopefully this uh, technique will help you out purchase your next microwave